Hello, hello, I'm glad you are here and today I'd like to explain how to commission art as an art collector. What you need to know uh, for the artist uh, to fulfill a great commission painting. So how do you approach an artist? How do you commission art? These are some of the questions I'd like to answer in this podcast. Hooked on Art podcast is available on Spotify, Apple, and uh, YouTube. Hooked on Art podcast is one of the top 10 art collecting podcasts on the web, rated by Feedspot. It's such a wonderful experience to hang a unique piece of art in your home or office. Art collecting is a great way to show who you are, create unique space and sub- support contemporary artists. If you've decided on a specific idea or want to commission a portrait painting, you need to learn how to approach the artist you like. So what's the right way of communicating your idea and understanding what the artist needs to produce a custom art piece? I'd like to discuss what the artist needs from you in order to fulfill your commission. I'm going to assume that you pick your favorite artist and you know what he or she paints well. You don't want to ask for an abstract painting done by a figurative artist. You also know that the artist accepts commissions because many don't. And finally, you love the artist's style so much so that you are confident you want to have a custom art piece done by this artist. Number one, have a photo shoot with the artist. Most realist artists paint portraits from their references. In addition to that, some classically trained artists like to make at least one portrait study from life. This means that you must be available for a photo shoot as well as for a two hour direct sketching by the artist. A lot of artists try to work with the reference provided by the client, but a big disadvantage to this uh, is that most references are of poor quality or they are not creative for the artists to work from. It makes a very big difference if the artist creates art based on the image or if he just copies the image. Personally, I've seen a number of reference shots with poor quality, you know, poor lighting, busy backgrounds and blurry facial features. What's worse, these pictures often capture the unflattering angle of a sitter. Most references are phone snapshots with distorted perspective and facial features. Expecting the artist to create a masterpiece from such a reference is too much to ask for. You might think and say that the artist can change this or that, but it doesn't quite work this way because artists basically copy what they see in the reference picture, making some adjustments. When the artist takes the picture, he already creates art, paying attention to the angle, light, color, and so on. So what you need is to be available for a photo shoot with the artist. So you might ask, what if it's a reference of your girlfriend or a family member and you have no way of arranging a photo shoot? Pick the best photos possible with directional light, simple background and flattering natural pose. Pictures must be of uh, the highest resolution possible. Number two, give wall measurements and photos of the interior space. If you want to commission a site-specific artwork, you need to send pictures of the space to the artist and give measurements of the entire wall space and the size of art you'd like to have on your wall. Artists need to see the space to understand the surroundings because the artist can put some interior elements into commissioned art piece or advise you on a different size, format and color scheme. Canvas format can be a landscape, portrait or circular in most cases. 
It could also be a diptych, triptych, or a very narrow, long canvas. Oftentimes, the art size is odd, and the artist must either make a special order or stretch the canvas himself. It's great if the canvas size is standard and uh, fits the space perfectly, because getting the art supplies and, and framing it is a lot easier. Uh, standard sizes are 16 by 20, 18 by 24, 24 by 36, 36 by 48 inches, and so on. Please note that not every artist knows how to stretch canvases of odd sizes, and it involves a lot of work to do it well. Number three, explain what you would like to see in the painting. Remove the guesswork and say what you wish to see in the painting. Is it the beauty of a sunset? Is it a water reflection that you love? Is it a specific type of a house that you want to see in the painting? Give your ideas along with the references if you wish to commission a landscape, cityscape or a portrait. Number four, explain what colors you'd like to see in a commissioned piece. Communicate what colors are important to you and tell the artist what you actually like in his or her work. The artist will emphasize your favorite elements and colors in the commissioned piece. Number five, understand basic price range of the artist. Understand basic price range of the artist by looking at his website or asking the artist in a message on Instagram or emailing the artist. Pricing varies with experience, years in business, studio costs, materials, fame, museum or other notable shows, uh, collections and awards, size and complexity of artwork. Painting figures is the hardest, but creating a very delicate architectural piece could be as hard. Painting clouds would take much less time. In the past, artists charged clients based on the number of figures present in the painting. Today we have such a great variety of art and styles that artists have a wide range of subject, theme and prices as a result. If you are interested in a commissioned piece by a well-known artist, galleries may handle the commissioned art process. Auctions uh, could have a record of a price range of a famous artist. Don't expect to get a great deal by asking for a reduced fee. Usually artists charge a bit more to fulfill a specific commission. Also, there is at least a 50% deposit for any artist to begin painting. So think ahead and research the price range first. Number six, explain what you love about artists' work. Don't be afraid to say what you want to have in a commissioned artwork and what you love about the artist's work. Artists do try to accomplish and fulfill all the requests. Knowing what attracts you to artist pieces is helpful because you can understand what you like and the artist can bring these features forward in your custom piece. Also know that the way you see and perceive yourself as a model can be very different from the artist's perception of you creating a portrait painting. Therefore, the final image may and would be different from your imagination. In order to be involved in the process, Ask the artist to give you the final sketch of the painting to see the composition. Then ask for a semi-finished image or even a video call if you see something you want, you know, you want to contribute to. Note that many artists don't like sharing work in progress shots because it's so different from the final result. It could give a wrong impression. It depends how the artist works. My paintings are quite messy in the beginning and I don't share them at all. I must tell you that you need to let the artist do the work. Beautiful pieces emerge when the artist isn't pressured to create art. If you loom over the artist 
and art may not materialize or look constricted and unresolved in comparison uh, to his main body of work. Number seven, set a due date. Agree on a deadline with the artist. While oil painting dries out in a couple of weeks, varnishing is recommended after six months. Acrylic painting could be ready for shipping almost as soon as it's done, so think about that. And number eight, agree on framing and shipping costs. Do you want the artist to frame art for you or you prefer to do it yourself? What about shipping costs? Ideally, you or the artist could draft a one-page document, which is basically an agreement, outlining the project and details. So there is little confusion or miscommunication involved. And you can put all these um, details into this agreement. So what's your experience commissioning a piece? Share your experience in the comments below. You can reach out with questions and topic ideas via my website, veronikasart.com. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. And um, thanks so much for watching this video or um, listening to it on Spotify. I appreciate it very much. And I hope this episode helps you decide how to commission art from your favorite artist. Take care. Bye-bye.